I am just out here waking up this morning. It is a cool winter day. It's early morning. I am drinking my cup of coffee and just chilling in my PJs and watching some squirrels. So um, I fed them some raw peanuts in the shell. I found a bag of them yesterday for $2 at the store. So they're enjoying some feed and some peanuts. Unsalted, no worries, they're raw. So they're super happy right now, but I do have to go to Tractor Supply today and go find some um, really decent food for them because when it's cold out, I need to give them something a little more substantial so that they keep some fat on them for the winter and they stay warm. But on to the nursery to go see some babies. Okay, Cradle Crew. So today we are probably going to have a couple of little boys finally listed on my website. This is cute and smiley and dimply little happy Joseph and his brother Stephen. Um, I just finished painting these babies on Friday and took a break over the weekend, but I do need to do their photo shoot now that we have some sunshine in Florida. It was raining all weekend, so I didn't want to do their photo shoots, but we're going to do those today and get them finally listed on the website because it's been a while, guys. I'm so sorry if you've been looking for babies. I was caught up over the holidays doing customs. So these little guys, I will show them off to you and show you details in case you want one for yourself. And by the time this video airs, they should be listed. Um, so I'm gonna put my website down below. If you miss them, I can make one for you. They're very easy for me to do as a custom. I can copy my own work. I can't copy someone else's work, nor do I want to, but I can replicate my own work very well. So if you are interested in these babies, go check them out on my website. Also, this beautiful baby, Lily, found her new mommy last night. Auntie Amy and her daughter uh, purchased this baby. And they are with Bella Boo Nursery on YouTube. So you can follow this baby's journey if you want to. Go check them out on YouTube. And I am so happy that she is going home to an auntie. So thank you, Auntie Amy, for adopting this sweet girl. Nathan is also on his way home and out for delivery to his new mama, Shirley, and it is snowing in Michigan. So he is luckily wrapped very warm. I'm going to get this baby all packed up with all of her beautiful goodies. She's going to have a beautiful box opening just like Auntie Shirley's baby and congratulate the new mommies. I'm so excited for them um, that they are going to be loving my babies and giving them beautiful homes. They will be so spoiled. Nathan already has a huge wardrobe so he is already very spoiled so just needed to show you guys the newest members of my collection so i have this little girl she is a little red-headed couch kid with a little tooth and dimples and blue eyes she came in this cute little cabbage patch kids romper with her little shoes she's adorable i love her with the red hair and the braids um i had a cabbage patch kid that looked just like this except she was a little astronaut so she came in a little rocket ship it was really cool but this little baby looks just like her so i'm super excited also I just wanted to show you guys this cute little hammock that I got on Amazon and it is holding my two little preemie babies um, in it. She is a new little preemie baby. She's got this cute little bonnet. She has green eyes, a dimple, this beautiful little romper, the classic white shoes. Um, her little romper says Cabbage Patch Kids on it and it has little hearts. And she actually has a little tuft of blonde hair under there with those beautiful green eyes. Super cute. So this completes my collection of Cabbage Patch Kids. I have 10 of them. I have five boys, five girls, and I finally have my preemie set. I have a preemie boy, preemie girl, so I'm super excited. This is um, my sweet little Tigger and I have Cheer Bear. So this is like my childhood right here, you guys. Um, this hammock is super cute. I'll show you guys 
a little hammock at nighttime, but it does have like flashing lights or they can just stay on like that. So that's in my work corner, which makes me super happy. I don't know why um, my childhood coming back is bringing me so much joy, you guys. It really is um, so super fun. This has been such a blast. Um, by the way, I did find a umbrella stroller for the Cabbage Patch Kids on eBay and it was still new and in the box because a lot of them are all janky <laughs> because they're made of like this flimsy metal and so a lot of the metal has rusted on the used ones. So I was actually looking for the umbrella stroller for the Cabbage Patch Kids on eBay still in the box and I found one on bid for a really good price. I bid on it, but I lost the bid. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I have everybody where I want them, super cute, don't need it. So totally fine. But thank you for those who reached out to me and showed me places where I could try to find a used one. But that was so nice. So thank you guys for thinking of me and helping me out with that. So fun. So I just thought I would show you guys some details on these little babies. This is baby Steven and he is available on the website. And I just did his photo shoot. So super cute, love this little baby. I have him in this little hospital blanket. He looks like he was just born, kind of has that just born look. I did not make him in the red tones like a brand new fresh born baby, but he does look like he's ready to go home from the hospital. Did a lot of brand new baby details on him. He does have the little milk bumps on his nose and I have a special tool for that now. So they're really super fine little milk bumps. It's also called Milia and I just love his sweet little lips. His hair is like a darker brown. Really love how his painted hair turned out. Super sweet. Um, he does have like a little bit of stork bite and I believe on his little neck over here, we did a little scratch. I am learning how to do some finer scratches. Um, I can see some changes in my work now. I love it when I start to see change. Um, I'm starting to see some things change. So um, I'm really loving it. I'm seeing changes for the better, of course. I love seeing improvement. That's always something that makes me really happy. So this sweet baby has two little open hands. I love all the little wrinkles. I love his little nails. He has this sweet little baby that we used um, as a prop, his little teddy bear we used as a prop and this cute little man pacifier. I've been collecting these man pacifiers. Um, I have like every single kind, I think. Um, they're super cute. I love doing photo shoots with them. So he has these sweet little socks on. These are his little feet. Look at the little wrinkles on his feet. He has one straight leg and I love all the little wrinkles in this straight leg. And then he has a little bent leg. And I love his little wrinkles on his feet. He has beautiful little wrinkles. Love the mottling, love his coloring, love all the details on him. Super cute. So this is Steven, like I said, on the website. And then I wanna show you guys Joseph because he's more of an awake baby, smiley, happy, like interactive baby. But if you're looking for a sleeping baby, this one is the one for you. Um, these both can come home as boys or girls. Uh, reborns don't have a gender, so you can change the gender. I can totally send this baby home any way that you would like it. So let me know, go visit the website. Um, let's take a look at Joseph. So this is sweet little Joseph. This is actually a baby that I had very early on in my collection. Uh, I believe he was the second reborn I ever purchased and <laughs> I love his sweet little smiley face and his little dimples. His eyes look dark on camera, but they're actually a really dark newborn blue. So, um, I, actually did 23 in me. My husband bought it for me for Christmas and I found out I'm 75% Irish. I knew I had Irish in me. I just didn't know it was 75%. <laughs> so the, that inspired me to do kind of like an Irish baby with like the reddish brown hair 
and some really dark blue eyes. I love his little dimples. I love this cute little woodland theme we have going on. As you all know, the woodland theme is my favorite in my nursery. Um, this was just for his photo shoot. I collect a lot of like woodland stuff, especially the foxes. Um, this is a Chengo rattle and you can find it on Amazon and they're not expensive. Uh, I got all this stuff on Amazon. This is also by Carter's. So super cute. You can find all this stuff on um, Amazon. And this little man pacifier. This is one of my favorite ones. I had a fox one and I can't find it. So I'm kind of bummed. Um, but I ended up using this little man pacifier for his photo shoot. He is so sweet. I absolutely love this cute little baby. I'm going to show you uh, what his little arms and legs look like in case you're interested in a little Joseph. And you can find him on my website. By the time this airs, he will be available in my store for sale for adoption. Um, I went through a period of time in December where I wasn't getting any custom orders. I now have a few in January. So I had plopped about eight babies on my table. So be prepared because there's going to be a lot of babies coming to the store soon. Um, but these two are the first. I've been working on these guys since December. Since before the holidays. And love this sweet little baby. So cute. I love the open hand. I love the little closed fist. He's got one of each. Um, I love everything about this baby, but I may be really partial because this was one of my most favorite babies in my collection. My baby Joseph was actually a little bald baby. So um, I love his veining and mottling. I love this baby. It's such a happy little face. I will probably end up returning this sculpt to my nursery. I will probably end up making one for myself. This sculpt was actually my most favorite um, baby in my nursery for the longest time. And my son and my husband, they both said that this was their favorite. So they're very partial to him. Um, and my husband was very excited to see this cute little face again. So I, once I find the right eyes, I'm trying to match up the eye color, um, the blue eye color of the one that I had. Mine had a lighter color blue than this baby's eyes. They are a really, really deep, dark blue, which I love because it's very newborn color. Like that's how most blue eyed babies are when they're born. So, um, but I'm really trying to find the ones that my baby had. And I would love to paint him again and keep him in my nursery eventually and give him some hair, <laughs> just like this little guy. So I think that would be super fun because mine was bald and I I loved him bald and I, I didn't want to change him even after I became an artist. I didn't want to add paint to him. I liked him just the way that he was, but I would really love to have one with painted hair. I think this baby's adorable with painted hair. So um, this baby does have milia. We've got some milk bumps on the side of the nose on each side. I didn't do too, too much uh, newborn stuff to him. I, I just did like a little scratch on this baby as well. If you can see over there, I did a little newborn scratch because he's got this open, open hand with the nails. And, um, but I didn't get too crazy on him because he seems kind of like an older baby. Like he's um, maybe about a month old, even though he's a uh, newborn size. He's just super interactive, happy little baby, smiling, laughing. Um, I just remember this baby always made me smile. So super happy to have this little one back. I'm really enjoying him. I love this little outfit on him. Uh, my baby wore this outfit <laughs> too. So I thought it would be so cute to do a photo shoot with this baby and put him in the same outfit. I hope you love these babies. I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys come back and see me again on the next video. Love all the aunties and uncles out there. Congratulations to the new mommies. I sent baby girl off. She should be home soon. I will see you guys on the next video. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of those happy, dimply, sweet little babies. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.